Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay. I'm gonna do it. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> this is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? Love my coloring book. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. My 
you later. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evil. I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shabam! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you, on the other side of the screen, remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you still wear a diaper? Nah, that was so last year. <laughs> Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh, oh please don't fall off. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. did it. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. <laughs> Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, that 
rabbits again? When will Daddy Luna like them alive? <laughs> Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> Afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> this is where I saw a really cute fox. I call him Benjamin. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. I think he's really cute. Please, Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? <laughs> Hello, kitty. Here. Come, come, kitty. Kitty, kitty, kitty! Kitty, don't go! Damn it. I never get to pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right, any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
lot of sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. I'll set it free so we can go to the party. What party? The puppy is obviously going to a sweet party. It, it has a party hat. Ah, yes, the party. I heard George is having one. This must be his dog. So, are we going? Yes, why not? It's just a bit farther ahead. Come on, puppy, let's go party! Oh, puppy, I'm petting you. Why do you let me? You like me? Oh no, I step on Doogie Doo. Oh, oh, yeah. Hey, puppy, that's yucky. Don't eat the vomit. Yikes, forever. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? I can't watch this any. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. Sweet, let's go then. Come on, puppy. Puppy, what are you doing? Did you find a treasure? You seem to have found the secret of the beach. The beach has a secret? Yes. Let's have a look. Oh, look! A fortune treat and a doggy cookie. One for me and one for puppy. Isn't it perfect? Yes, but you can only take one. A cookie for you or a treat for the dog. I'll take the doggy treat and use it to make the doggy love me. <laughs> Here you go, puppy. You never know when it's your last treat. No, puppy! Puppy, don't go! Puppy! Freaking blackbird! Oh my! That will make George really upset. Yeah, I hope I get to meet the puppy again sometime. I bet you will. Mr. Voice, why does everyone leave me? I'm still here. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take the party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes, yes it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes, I mean if you want to. Yes, of course, that's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we 
there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, a fish! What should we do about it? I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know. <laughs> and here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party. I saw a man once floating in the lake, just like this fisher. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Ah, oh, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hang himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes! the woods with the trees and the birds and the animals dangerous animals miss fortune you might run into a fox a fox like benjamin yes but all foxes are evil so keep your eyes open uh, all right huh what's this a doll Everything began with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! 
Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> Oh, it that, that's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. Okay, it doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkle? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. Well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. <gasps> what was that? What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Whoa! Hamster fight! Are you going to do something about it? adorable things you have to kiss and make up <laughs> there you go oh please sweetie don't go you dropped something oh are those means maybe i should try one so i can keep my breath fresh i'm a little lady you know wow i'm feeling really nice And I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Excuse me, how about a little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. These tiny cutie cars are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. Oh, 
I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another bounce. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will Miss Fortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry, it's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye! 
Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Misfortune. What? Language. Ah, Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know? I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. I hope this fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. What? Oh no! Rodrigo is dead now. Of course. Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. I'll bury him later. Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course, check this out. <coughs> oh, it's okay, it's okay. That was unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. This 
looks like the art of Benjamin. I think it's garbage, and it should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. The prize is closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Ah, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? I stole my friend's Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad. I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? <laughs> yes, I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question, do you feel loved? I'm pretty sure mommy loves me because she hasn't left me. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, what is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. That shovel, okay. This one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> Ugh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> ah, pfft, nothing. Hmm, Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm. Erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Eh, yikes forever. Rise in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Ah, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha, huh. I don't get it. Ah, no prize in here. Look, this grave is available. What do you want to do? I think I'll bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. 
Any last words? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. That was beautiful. Thank you. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <gasps> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. <laughs> when unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, shake out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. I'll put it back. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh, what does this mean? That looks like nonsense to me, Miss Fortune. Ah, huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Aha! There! That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? Oh my Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it.
what have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake, choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See? I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah. Maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes. Give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Look, the zoo. You know, with the animals. I actually made a quick Google search. I found out the fox has a cousin in the zoo. Oh, really? We could go and see if he knows where the fox lives. But how do we get to the zoo? It's like really far away. Why, we take the bus, of course. There should be a bus stop nearby. Ah, okay. Hi, you look familiar. What? That man just dropped his wallet. What do you want to do? I'm gonna take it. It's for me. Open it. All right, I'm doing it. There's just a picture inside. Really? Can I see? Mm-hmm. One time, Mommy took me here and forgot me. I got to play inside all night until a security man found me. He thought I was a raccoon. <laughs> well... That sounds like it was a fun night for you. Yeah, except for me crying a lot, but it was fun. <laughs> Look, even more missing children posters. So many. I wonder what they're missing. Oh, don't you worry about them. I'm sure they will all turn up one day. You think so? Of course. I don't know, Mr. Voice. This is starting to smell mysterious. Here we are. Have you ever taken the bus all by yourself before? No. I haven't. I'm not sure what to do. Do I need a ticket? Let's find out. There's an information board. Ah, look. We have to wait two minutes. Yikes forever. I can't wait to meet Benjamin's cousin at the zoo. I'm gonna tell how badly Benjamin behaved and that Benjamin should be ashamed. That sounds great. It says that all children under 15 years old can ride the bus for free. I'm eight, so I'm good. Great. Hmm, now that I think about it, maybe you'll need a bus ticket. You sound old. Uh, I'm definitely older, but nobody can see me. Ah, uh, okay. Are you like 20? Yes, more or less. Ah. Uh. Should I sit down and wait? Do as you please. Okay, thank you. I'll sit. I'm a bit tired from all the walking, you know. I can imagine. You have very small feet. <laughs> yes, I'm a little lady. That's what I am. Check those old ladies out. They're a little scary, don't you think? Honestly, 
I've seen worse. Really? Yes. You know, my mommy also uses the same mask. She likes to hide her smile and tears behind it. Would you like to have a mask like that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. The bus is here. This bus trip might take a while. Are you okay with that? It's okay. Hiro is keeping me company. Who is Hiro? He's my friend from Japan. He's a ghost, you know. He's always saying, Kiri wa doko dasu ka? <laughs> you are really funny, Miss Fortune. There is no such thing as ghosts. Kiri wa doko dasu ka? Hey, Miss Fortune, look. There's a bunch of cows on the field. I love cows. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Ew, that's a little bull crap. Run for your life, little baby cow. Oh, unlucky things seem to happen all the time. Nesta, you're parking. I think we're getting close to the zoo now. Okay, great. Wow, here we are. I can't wait to go inside. You have the ticket, right? What ticket? Oh, didn't I give you a ticket earlier? What? No, you didn't. Oh dear, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. Do you have any ideas on how to get inside? You know, without paying. Hmm, I saw mommy showing her boobies to the guy in the store and she got some free food. But I haven't got any titties yet, so that might not work. I see. Well, I have an idea. What if we use diversion? Hmm, what does di diversion mean? Well, make the cashier look somewhere else, you know. Fool him. Okay, let me think what I can do. Breakable? Like, like with a rock or something. Like, like a stone. Hello, can I get inside for free? Huh, I guess not. Any tickets to the zoo? Ew, yucky. No tickets, only yucky. <gasps> Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. Alright, I can't wait. <laughs> really sweet. Just wait and see, Miss Fortune. Wait and see. <laughs> okay, I'll wait and then I'll see. Huh, they know about the missing children here. Hmm, I think I came up with an idea. What if... What if I break the window over there and make a hell of a noise? <laughs> wow, that's a wild idea, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
isn't this wonderful? We'll get to see so many caged animals. <laughs> caged animals? By the way, you did a great job not getting caught by the vendor. Very impressive. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but now, we should find out where the wolf exhibit is. Why? You mean Benjamin Scottin is a wolf? Yes. Remember, he knows where the fox lives. All right. Look, birdie nap mom. <laughs> oh, what? What did you just say to me? Give yourself a fuck. Oh, Miss Fortune, watch that mouth. I don't care. This bird is mean. Oh, dear. We need to get your happiness back as soon as possible. Wow, so much to see and do. Find the wolf area so we know where to go. I think the zoo is about to close. There, you see? Pet the wolfie. Great job. Let's hurry up now. You know, I'm feeling really annoyed, like a lot. What's happening to me? I smell hormones waking up inside you. What? Hormones? No, hormones. Ah, okay. What's that? Your body is preparing to create life inside you. You get a lot of new feelings that are completely normal. Ah, okay. And you'll bleed for three to five days from your vagina. Ew, yikes forever. You will also suffer each month for many, many years. And society will treat you like garbage. Are you for real? Yes, I am. I think I need some emergency glitter. <laughs> ah. So much better. <laughs> this looks like the way to the wolf. Yes, let's go then. Oh my, looks like this area is closed to the public. Oh, damn it. You will have to sneak past the janitor to get to the other side. Don't let her see you, otherwise she will lock you in and call your mommy. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'm like a sweet little ninja. I could hide behind those boxes, right? Great idea, hide behind a box until she turns her back to you. Alright, I'm ready, let's do this. Like a little ninja lady. Well done, Miss Fortune. Now, wait for her to turn her back to you and... And then kill her from behind? What? No! Why? That's what the ninjas do in movies. I've seen, like, all of them. Don't tell mommy. Well, this isn't a movie, so just do as I say. When she turns around, you can jump out and keep moving. Ah, uh, all right then. It just look a lot cooler on TV. Oh. I'm like the Shadow Ninja Master. She never saw me. Don't celebrate just yet. There's one more box you have to sneak past. You better watch me when I nail this one. Oh. I made it. Little Ninja Lady is the best. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. We're getting pretty close. This one looks like the easy. Yes. So you know. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, it fits. The path to Sonar City is twisted by the malevolent games from the beyond. What? A path twisted to where? Don't pay any attention to these silly rocks. Here we are! A 
nobody saw us coming. You really proved your ninja skills back there, Miss Fortune. But I'm pretty sure I was the best at hiding back there. No, that doesn't count. You're not a little lady like me. You're just a boy. Oh, you'll see. I'm much, much more than that. However, now you should go and meet the wolf. Got it. Meet the wolf, maybe pat it, and get Benjamin's address like a ninja. It's locked. I need a key for this. Yes, you do. Look, there's a note. It must say where the fox lives. We need to take it. Uh, I can't reach it from here. We need to find a key to open the cage. I'll find that key. You'll see. Do you think there could be a key in there? I don't know. Let's go and see. Quietly. Like a little ninja. Got it. Like little lady misfortune. The ninja lady. Lady has entered the room. We need to find a key now. I told you already. I'll find it. You'll see. Watch and learn how to find a key. I'll check those pockets. Mm, look, I found a paper with some numbers on it. Keep it. It might be helpful. Okay. Fancy. Is there a key? Cool, another. When broken hearts are chosen to receive a gift, you say? What's that? Nothing. You think we can find some information in here about the key? Sure. I don't see why not. Check out my computer skills. I bet the password is this one. Wait, Miss Fortune. I think you're holding the paper upside down. Don't interrupt me. I know what I'm doing. Keep quiet. Unexpected. Not to me. Animals usually run away from me. That's too bad. But hey, the note is right there. I'm gonna take it. It says, my evil cousin's address. Fox, 
Cook Stegen 15. Open fields. As Benjamin's address. Good. Now we can get that stolen happiness back. All right, sweet. It looks like the fastest way to the fox is by boat from Phantasmagoria. Wait a minute. Are you telling me we are going to Phantasmagoria? It seems that way, yes. Sweet. I always wanted to go, yes. <laughs> Are you up for another round of questions while we walk? Sure. My question answering skills are all warm up. Great. Great. And, as usual, just be honest and you'll do fine. <laughs> First question. Have you ever heard this question before? Yes. All right. Second question. Have you ever lied to a friend? I do it all the time in school. Charlene still believes my daddy comes and picks me up after school. I as well behind the trees and sneak home when she's not watching. That's so sad. If you say so. Now, for the last question. Have you ever seen someone die? I saw Grandad die. It was very calm. Not like in the movies, it was different. I told him to come haunt me as a ghost, but he hasn't done it yet. Thank you for your honesty again, Miss Fortune. <laughs> You're welcome. We're getting really close to Phantasmagoria now. Yeah, I can hear. <laughs> Exciting! What? This looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. What? A ticket? For real? Sweet and spooky! <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox, remember? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it says, Welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time, so try to make the right choices for her, all right? Hmm, I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. If you do it one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. My candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hat to make my own mixed candy corn. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. Are you really gonna eat some of it? Of course. It's free candy. Delicious. <laughs>
heart. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you not to eat it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. Happiness to Miss Fortune! <laughs> oh, much better. Check out those sweet unicorns! Look, little baby sweet unicorn! This is your family. Say hello. Did you say? Okay. Now say bye-bye, and we'll go. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Yes. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. Good. I'm feeling this. Uh, you think you're going to puke? I don't want to. But the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath and you'll soon feel better. <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. The boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. This one is free. I want to play it. Oh, please do play it. Play it as much as you want. Really? All right. Well, check this out. Now with real bullets. Fancy. I... I think I broke the game. It looks like it. Oh. Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. Pretend they all stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them! Okay. Whacking misfortune! Thank you. <laughs> 
Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you. And you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? Talk about crazy. Want to try it again then? Okay, okay, again. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? <gasps> what? Oh, one of those dolls again. I want it. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? I like desires. What did you choose? Nothing. <laughs> I know who will look amazing in this tiny skirt. Shut up! <laughs> there you go, unicorn. You look like a sweet little lady. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got this sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? This is going to be so cool! I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. Kraken, if you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking Kraken? Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking. Is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, the only fish I know is buried. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba do kudasuka! So you don't know, huh? 
You know, I've never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. What time is it? It's getting really dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There is something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. you beast. Stop it. You're scaring him away. Don't leave, Benjamin. Please, Miss Fortune, <laughs> stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Trust me, he's dangerous. Stop running, please. <laughs> What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. I know, I could have been more specific, like, there's a bear trap up ahead, stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay, thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. Huh. All right. <laughs> let's see what this... It's stuck. Huh. The elimination of Prime Me will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? Interesting. Mm. 
the games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. What are you doing? Nothing. So, Miss Fortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink juice and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, second question. Do you trust me? Nah, you're just a voice in my head. Mommy talks to herself a lot, too. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. I'm sorry to hear that. Hey, are you my inner demon? Me? A demon? <laughs> no. Nah, you can't be a demon. Not with the silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway, now for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? afraid of death because all 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 dead people I know never came back from being dead so it must be pretty cool to be dead <laughs> well I guess you'll find out when you die looks like there's going to be a storm oh no I hope it doesn't rain that much I don't like my feet getting wet I'm a little lady you know hey look at that I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the cabin is empty, and if you see the Fox, run. All right. It looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> be brave, Miss Fortune. Okay, I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share the prize with us and everything will be fine. Whoa, a video player! Fonsu! Let's see... Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that... The monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape! Maybe I can fix it... Cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? I'm just gonna have a little look inside. By Benjamin Johannalius Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin.
Looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. Are you afraid of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry, you can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary! I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Is it the monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. You can't hide the children. Are you rescuing me, Benjamin? Like if I was a girl in trouble? Benjamin, where did you go? Oh no, it's the Benjamin. There's a hole behind the painting. Hello? I can't reach it. I'm a little lady, you know. Uh-huh, such a clever little lady. Time to use my ninja skills. Shh, what a bad crack. Be quiet. This is a ninja mission. Benjamin, are you here? Picture of a key. Interesting. My ninja senses are tell. Hmm. A real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> a secret button. All right then. I push the button. Easy. All right, time to find Benji. Oh. oh, that was unfortunate. I hope things get better when I get the eternal happiness. Okay, Miss Fortune, let's finish this. Get up, Miss Fortune. You are stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. Because... Because... You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. <laughs> okay, I'm out again. Anyone here? Bungie? Mr. Voice? 
I guess I'm alone. Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Mm, dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin? Are you around? He must be in trouble. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. All of it. You're the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop that. Then play with me. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? Freaking monster. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? I'll take the train back home. Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin. And then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> huh. 
feel inspired. Ugh. Hello, Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know Hira. What does it mean? It's the monster! Leave Hira alone! I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what the monster did to him. Uh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Uh. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. We got red lights. I like them. Mommy, I'm back. Hello? What's that sound? Bangy? Congratulations, you reached the end of my game. Leave me alone. I'm looking for Mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even care anymore. Of course you care. You know your Mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. Good, good. Ready for a new game? If I play alone, Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will, but only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. I'm still on <laughs> This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute, didn't I do this already? What? No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, stop talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. 
Stop ruining this. Oh, eternal happiness? No deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... Wait. What? No deal. No. No. Uh, how about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? If the game is about Benjamin and you leaving me alone, I'll play along. Sure. Sure. I promise you know the way. Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Ma, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Fine. Let me come up with a new game to play. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with you anymore. Knock, knock. Who's there? You're scaring me, stupid! Leave me alone! Knock knock, who's there? 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 What happened here? My secret spot, he won't find me in there. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. <laughs> So now we're playing hide and seek. I love that game. No, leave me alone. All right, just so you know, my game is the only thing keeping you alive. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Silly little child. Another toy for my collection. You're mine to play with for eternity. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Wow. You get here. There's nothing you can do. She belongs to me.
Benjamin save me. Benji, are you around? Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Benjamin, where are you? because I couldn't get the happiness for you? What's happening? Mommy? <laughs> this must be a bad dream. somewhere else because I have nothing against it but I have to talk with my mommy first mommy I'm going to go somewhere else with Benji okay he's the fox that I like I'm a little lady you know that's what I am I guess I was your little misfortune for a while, but you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever.
It's really cold. Disappear deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Fortune, that's who I am. Lady Misfortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. So strong.